What is an atheist? An atheist is somebody who asserts that there is no God, uh, there is no life after death, that these are religious illusions. So an atheist is a, is a denier of God and immortality. Do you think that uh, most people who say they're atheists really are atheists? And, and how do you convince an atheist that there is a God? If someone says to you, I don't believe there is a God, what is your response to that? Okay, well, a couple of distinctions. An atheist is different than an agnostic. An agnostic okay. is someone who says, I don't know. Yeah. There might be a God, I just haven't seen enough evidence for it. I'm open to the possibility, but I'm not convinced. That's the agnostic. It means A, I don't, and gnostic knowledge, I don't know. Um, the atheists divide into two camps. There are the intellectual atheists and what I would call the moral atheists. Mm -hmm. In some ways, the moral atheists are more interesting. That's the camp that like a Dostoevsky would be interested in. Moral atheism is not I don't believe in God. Moral atheism is I don't like God. I reject the God uh, that is here. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I think he's a monster. I think he's a tyrant. I don't know why he killed my sister. I don't know why mm -hmm. he's the kind of God he is. That's a different kind of quarrel than someone who just says, oh gee, I've got science, I don't need God, science answers all my questions. The intellectual atheism is very different than moral atheism. And if you look at the leading atheists, some of them fall into one camp and some of them fall into the other camp. And diagnosing where they're coming from is key to debating them. Yeah. Because you have to answer someone where they're coming from. If somebody is upset at God and you keep giving them proofs of God's existence, right. it does no good. Right. Um, so, um, you know, we, I was discussing an interesting debate uh, over the problem of evil, the problem of suffering. And this guy kept saying, there's so much suffering in the world, and he said, you know, I just don't see how there can be a God. And I said to him, I said, if there's suffering in the world, I said, let, let's look at an example. I said, let's say, for example, that I, my dad is a really important and influential and powerful guy. He's a kind of a Bill Gates. And I think he's a, he's a loving dad and I count on him and I look to him for help. And then I face a really terrible problem in life. And I don't know what to do and I turn to my dad and say, please help me. And he won't help me. Then what am I going to do? Am I going to say, well, now I'm convinced, convinced that my dad does not exist? No, that would be odd. I would say, you know, I've got to revise my opinion about my dad. In other words, this is not a debate about the existence of my father, it's a debate about the character of my father. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when we're debating God's existence, what people who don't like suffering are saying is, we don't like the character of a God who would allow this. And that's a different debate than we doubt that there is a God at all.